So here's Rob's setup, the one person tent. That's like the one I was going to bring. One person Durston tent. Durston yeah. tent. Dan Durston. And it's the Canadian the Dan Canadian. Durston. <laughs> and that's held up just by two tent poles. Two trekking poles. Two, or sorry, trekking poles. No other, yeah. Mine has a tent pole. And then, of course, my hammock. And then Jay's, he just uses a tarp, sleeps right on the ground. Three different hikers, three different setups. I am so full, had an awesome breakfast from Rob, hot breakfast. Uh, what was it? Outdoor buttermilk, pantry. buttermilk biscuits. And turkey sausage meat. It was delish, I am so full and hot coffee. Bonjour, today is Saturday, January 7th, 2023, day 12 of 12 of my through hike of the Ozark Highlands Trail. I'm here at mile 159 with, uh, with my friend Rob here and my new friend, Jay hikes a lot there. And uh, I am six miles away from the end of the official, um, the original 165 mile trail of the Ozark Highlands Trail. Uh, Rob and I, so I think Jay Hikes a lot is going to leave us today. He's going to back. He just joined me yesterday for my my day hike um, to here. He's going to turn around and, and and go back to Richland Creek Campground where where I met him. Um, Rob and I are going to con continue to his truck. Um, so 11 miles past the 165 mile mark uh, in order to avoid. Um, a major river crossing can be chest deep, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So <clears throat> yeah, we're going to, to mile 176, actually glutton for punishment. <laughs> Just kidding. Nothing about this trip has been punishment. The most challenging thing I've ever done. The most rewarding thing I've ever done. I've earned some new Girl Scout badges, you know, setting up in the rain today. I'm probably going to earn another uh, Girl Scout badge. Um, hiking in the dark because we have an 18 mile day ahead of us that is uh almost a full three miles longer than i have ever hiked with a through hiking backpack on and certainly on this uh this through hike so that'll be a long day for me um so yeah we will definitely be hiking in into the dark um part of part of today's hike will bring us through i think it's called the narrows it's Basically, we, we'll go up to um, a mountain top or a ridge top and then hike along the ridge um, and then ascend on the other side. So apparently that's going to be really beautiful. So I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, and I, I'm just so full after that breakfast. I haven't felt full <laughs> in almost two weeks. Um, yeah, because I had my boost breakfast and then I had, and then I had the, the hot breakfast that uh, Rob shared. Anyway, I will pack up and um, get started on this very exciting last day of my through hike, six miles away from accomplishment. Um, three years in the making, three years in the making. So I'm so excited. Yeah. Okay, time to back up. By the way, my sleeping bag is finally dry. Yay. <laughs> Just in time to finish the hike. What's the name of the fabric? That's the, I think that's what it's called. Uh, this thing's in Hennessy Hammock. It is 7.55 and we are just about ready to set off. It's just you and me, right, Rob? Yeah, I think so. Are you, are you, are you backtracking, Jay, or coming with us? Huh? Which way are you going? Uh, well, the more that I think about it, the more I'm like, I can't be this close to the Narrows and not go, so... Oh, so you're coming with us? Going with us. Okay, party of three. There you go. <laughs> P.S. Last day of hiking. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I just, I can't believe I made it this far and that today's the day and I'm just so excited. <laughs>
Spanish is easy? Oh yeah, because there's no silent letters. You pronounce everything. The hammock tent, right? It's like you're sleeping out in the open air, basically. Oh yeah, there is a fire ring in the middle. Oh yeah, you could easily hang a, ha a hammock tent in here. Very cool. We are at mile 162, uh, it's quarter after nine. Jay has caught up with us and uh, yeah, we're gonna keep carrying on almost at my goal. Okay, so we've arrived to the Narrows. This trail right here? Yep. Okay, so we're gonna go up there and across that narrow strip of rock, I guess it is? Yep. Okay. It's better on the way down. You're right, we can't pass this up. Huh? Can't pass this up. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Holy. <gasps> what? We have to climb up that? Oh my God. Are you serious? Yeah. I, that looks scary to me. Oh my God, are you serious? Easy. No, I don't. We'll take your pack, how about that? Okay, so we've made it. I just wanna show how narrow that was. And we have to climb up this, I just can't believe this. 
Okay. 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 So Jay's gonna take my pack while I do this part so that I have better balance because I am freaking out. <sighs> I mean, I've seen people go up this side of it even. You know, yeah. instead of coming up on the edge, even, you can even skirt on the inside of the tree like thing. I don't know. I've only been up here, this is my third time now. Yeah, yeah you, can go, you can go even that way if you want. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm doing it. I crawled. I crawled like a baby there. You can also come up through this way, too. I think that's exactly what I'll do. Yeah, come right under here, under the tree. Oh, yeah, it's way better for me. <laughs> There's this one move right here that you got to do around this limb, but I can hold yeah. the limb down. Oh, yeah, I guess you can come up through there. Almost up. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm almost at the top, but I just can't get enough of this view. Just came through there. Crazy. It's a good thing they didn't tell me what I was getting myself into, that's for sure. Oh, this would be an amazing camp spot. I did one day hang a hammock between Good spot. We were sitting there one day and a, a ranger came by and flat bottom. This crack, what is it called? I call it the butt crack. The butt crack. <laughs> and you just go, oh, I see. You can slide all the yeah, way down. You can go all the way down to it. But yeah, that'll be difficult with me and my pack. So, okay. The Buffalo River. Uh, Thanks for joining me yesterday and for joining us today. Of course. So awesome to meet you, celebrity YouTuber, Jay hikes a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> no, is it awesome? Great. Stay in touch. Yeah, I will. Okay, for cool. Sure. We're ready to go. Here we go. All right. Good to see you, man. Yeah. I'm good to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I use my for a bit. Well, this is my first trip ever using them at all, so I'm just. Yeah. Figuring it out. So it is uh, 10 17 in the morning, and I'm here at mile 164. This is officially the end. Uh, of the original Ozark Highlands Trail. Uh, this was my goal. I know I said 165 this whole time. I think that's what it says on the internet. Anyway, this is, yeah, this is uh, Woolham. This is Woolham. Um, so when I was here three years ago, I had, I had hired a gentleman to meet me on the other side of this river. He was gonna come across in a canoe, pick me up, bring me across and, and drive me back to my hotel in Bentonville. I ended up canceling that because I never made it this far. But this time I did, I did it. Um, yeah, I did it and I have to keep hiking <laughs> 12 more miles, um, to, to Tyler Bend. So I did it. All right, here we go. These are called hedge apples. So this is Richland Creek again, and it's, yeah, another double crossing basically, right? Mm -hmm. So you'll go first and I'll just, I'll, I'll follow you. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. taking your shoes off? Oh yeah. Boots off, crock on. Ah! Oh my God, it's so deep already.
up up here in the sun. You can't help let my feet go out. Uh. So that was the deepest of all the water crossings I've done. It was right up to, you know, past my knee, maybe, maybe two inches up above my knee. Anyway, it's done. My baby toe on my right foot was just aching. Water's cold. But anyway, it's all done. 10.38 in the morning. Let's keep going. Yeah, that's quite the climb. Okay. colors. So the trail is really narrow on a slant and again it's always hard to show but you are right on the side of a drop off so there's no forgiveness for a trip or anything like that Ooh, like I just did. <laughs> Have you not been back here before? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, like just, yeah, it's really weird. They're not even wow. like adjoining. Mm -hmm. They're not even adjoining. Not even here either. This is where the house was, so there's a chimney. Old refrigerator. Nice view, though. Yeah. Look at that steel beam. Yeah, like, how did they get all this in the middle of nowhere? Pretty cool. So what is it, a, an old house or? You can walk out there and give me a It's like the narrows again.
Slay Branch Cemetery. I just want to see a date. Oh my god, I don't fit. Eighteen fifty died eighteen eighty. Not a bad now, spot. If you, if you ran and jumped from here, you would not hit water. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, man. I know, okay, I'm almost at the top. I can see myself at the top almost. Yeah. I guess you can't camp in there. No, there ain't no floor left for you yeah. now. Yeah. So it is uh, 3.56. We are at mile 175. There are no mile markers past 164 because that's the original trail. They're, they're trying to extend it and they are extending it, but there are no mile markers past the original trail, trail of 164 miles. So anyway, we're at 175, so there's 1.3 miles left. And I just can't wait. My feet need a break and uh, I need a burger. <laughs> One last water crossing, oh my God. It's a big one. It is 4.38 p.m. I'm at mile 176.1, which means there's just 0.2 uh, miles left of this amazing, amazing experience. Oh my God. <sighs> yeah.
So, so let's do it, I guess. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'll see you there in a sec. So it's over, 176.3 miles. Uh, yeah, anyway, we're going for a burger, right? Yep. Yeah, so that's it for now.